In this video we'll see how you can use AI content writing plugin to make SEO friendly and unique content. For that, we'll use the WP Copilot plugin. So let's get started. We'll go to the Add New Plugin section and search for WP Copilot. This is the plugin. Let's install it. If you can, you can search by the name of the company, BoomDevs. There are multiple plugins available. Top Table of Contents and Mobile Button Menu are two of their best plugins. For Elementor, you can also add an unlimited number of intersections with their plugin. Due to the fact that we will be using the WP AI Copilot. So let's install this plugin. When the plugin is activated, we will see a section on the left side where we can edit its settings. There are limited features in the free version. If you plan to use the free version, it totally depends on how you use the prompts. If you are an expert in writing prompts, then you can use the free version, which will be beneficial. The more unique prompts you will write the more unique content you can generate. But today I will showing you how you can use the WPAI Copilot Pro for creating unique and wonderful content. So let's install the Pro version. For that, let's go to the Add New Plugin. Then upload the Pro plugin. After uploading the plugin, hit Install. Now it's time to activate the plugin. Once I click on the activation button, I will be taken to the license page, where I must enter my pro license. I am placing the license here and trying to activate the plugin. The pro version has now been activated. Next, let's look at the settings. For this plugin to run, I will need the API key from OpenAI. You can find this information by clicking the link below. You can also search on Google. Let's set up an account. Right now, I'm creating an account. Let's put the OTP which is sent to my number for verification. Yes, now it is activated. Then you will face a interface like this. Choose the API. Then click on the profile picture. Here you can find manage API section. Now create an API keys. You can name the API as you want. I'm just naming the API as. WPAI Copilot. After saving the API, the next important thing which I have to do is set a preferred model for creating content. If you did not select this then the plug will not work, sometime maybe it's not showing. On that time, please refresh the space. Then click on the Save button. Lastly, I have to change one more important thing. Go to the Permalink section for that. And select the format post name. These two things must be done. Now let's go to the post section and create a post with help of AI. For the first step, we need a title. The content generator can help you with that. There are a lot of templates to choose from. On the Pro version, this feature is most useful for content generation. This feature is not available in the free version. 
Here you can see templates like other AI, content generating platforms similar to Jasper AI or Writer Sonic. Now let's create some titles for my blog. I am going to write the titles for the blog. Here, I have to describe the blog post in a few words. Let me do that. I am giving the focus keyword make money online. For future reference, I am copying this description. You can select a number of choices. Similarly, you can also change the tones of voice and audience. For example, you can use tons of catchy voices. Here are some results. Despite the fact that it is the first version, we will introduce the editor option in a future update. Where you can edit your content just like Google Docs, then you can just insert it into your post. For updates, please visit our website. In addition, it will be included in the description. Let me look at the titles now. Let's copy this title and paste it in the title section since it looks great to me. Now I need the intro paragraph for that. Let's go to the templates in the content generator. Here you will find a blog intro section. Let me put the blog title. You can change the tone of voice. I am just making it catchy. The audience type can also be changed. If you want this post for bloggers or any specific audience, you can put it here. Now I am setting the number of choices to 3 so that the output will be shown. It gives 3 outputs. Let me check which one is perfect for me. I'm just in love with this content. Then let me just insert it into the post. There might be a spacing issue, but it can be corrected manually. I'm just removing the space. Now let's make some outline first. For that, go to the Generate Contents. Here you will also find templates for blog outlines. I am just setting the blog title here. Here is the description I copied from the About the Blog section. Also, I am not changing the tone of voice or the type of audience I am targeting. Furthermore, I want three outputs, so I am giving the number three. Let's generate. It gives me an outline. Here's how it looks. This gives me an idea of what to write and what to discuss in my blog post. Let me just copy this outline since I think it's perfect for me. I am just copying this outline into my text editor. I mentioned there that the latest update will also include an editor section for this plugin. So there won't be any hassle at that time. Then you can copy and paste whatever you want. Let me just paste it into the text editor for now. It will be easier for me to write content on those topics separately. Now create a quick paragraph section for each topic. What is making money online? In my opinion, it should be separated into its own paragraph. For the new section, give it an H2 tag. Now write a single paragraphs for this. Click on the Generate Content button to do this. You can also find a template for writing a single paragraph here. That's where I'm going. Then it asked me what the paragraph is about. The paragraph can be described in a few words. Here you can put the keywords you want to include. It is possible to change the tone of voice. It is also possible to change the audience. Here are the choices. I'm going to give it to three. In total, it produces three outputs. As you can see, all the paragraphs are well written. 
Rather than using the first, I'd like to use the second one. Let's create the second heading. Also, I'm giving it the H2 tag. Let's create a paragraph for this headline. And which keywords should be included. And I am not changing any terms of voice or audience. Now how many outputs I want, I'm giving three. I like this one. So I am using this output. In the same way, let's create the paragraphs for the third heading. Similarly, you can create wonderful content in the same way. It is also possible to expand the paragraphs it provides. This will make the paragraph look longer. You can also see the templates. Now let's see how we can create a big paragraph using some bullet points or subheadings. For this, I'm going to generate content and find paragraph writer for blog. In this instance, I was asked to enter the title of the article as well as a subheading or bullet point for it. I'll just fill in the information. It's done. Here's the output. While there might not be much good content in all the output, you will definitely find some good content. Let me just insert this into my blog post. I think it looks great. Oh, I didn't use the title for this paragraph. I'll just use that one. How you generate the content is up to you. There are many types of templates available. Use your creativity and come up with something new and unique. It is also possible to create pros and cons for a product or for a blog post. I'll create a pros and cons section about making money online. It asked me the product name. The topic for which you want to create a pros and cons can be set here. Depending on the topic you are writing about, you might fill out the product description. I get some outputs here. The results will definitely impress you. You can see some examples here. You can see major issues on the cons like competition or no guarantees. There is no doubt that the output will be logical and well written. I think this is perfect. Let me just use this on my post. There is some spacing in the post. Let me just fix this manually. There are also many other templates available, such as the AIDA formula. This is how AIDA breaks down the steps required for successful marketing. It refers attention, interest, desire, then action is taken. The AIDA formula can be used to break down the issues and provide a perfect solution. Your blog post can benefit from it. It will ask you to enter the product name, which is the topic you want to cover, or which product you want to write about. Additionally, it requires a description where you can explain the product or describe the topic you are covering. I am putting the description of my blogs.
Here you can see several outputs. As you can see from this output, it talks about the topic. Problem and the situation then, it gives me some benefits. After that, it gives me some ways to make money online. To get more options, you can generate more. As you can see here, it discusses both the benefits and the basics of making money online. After that, it shows some strategies that can help you make money online. It then encourages you to change your life with some basic paragraphs and motivational paragraphs. This is the one I'm going to use. There might be some spacing in the post when I insert it. It just needs to be fixed manually. We can do it manually, right? FAQ can also be created. If you have some FAQ questions, then it can answer you. Or if you don't have any FAQ question, then you can just use this section. But you have to input the product or service name. Here I can give the topic which I am covering on this post. And giving some short description. I did not change the tone of voice and audience. Let's generate the FAQ with answers. It appears that there is some space between each FAQ here as well. Let me just fix this with manually. Additionally, templates are available in a variety of formats. Let me write a blog conclusion for this post. Go to the blog conclusion. Here is the title of the blog post. Also, I am adding a short description about the post that I have already copied. Let's turn the voice into a catchy one. After I have increased the number of options, I am clicking the Generate button. Here it gives me few outputs. I'm using this one. Boom. And that's how we I just finished the writing of this blog post. See how wonderful blog post I have written with the help of AI. There are also many templates, for example, you can rewrite the text. Using the following example, I will show you how to rewrite the content. If you want to rewrite a piece of content, simply copy it. That's right. And then go to the Generate Content and go to the Rewrite Content section. Paste the content into the text box. Decide how many outputs you want. Also, it is possible to create a meta description of a blog by just putting the blog title and a short description. It is also possible to summarize the content. In the pro version, there are many templates, and new templates are adding frequently. Now let's look at how you can generate content without a template into Gutenberg blocks. Here is how I got this introduction paragraph for a heading. Once the text has been selected, click on this icon. As you can see, it will display some prompts. It shows me a pop-up when I choose the blog intro paragraph, asking if I want to go to the template section or stay here. I'm just going to stay here and create content. You can see that the output has already been inserted into the Gutenberg block editor. There is some spacing in this content, but you can fix this manually. However, this is due to a few errors during my sittings. 
This technique can actually be used for some cases like rewrite content, summarize content, grammar rewrite. Let's see how you can use it with Elementor. You can see the icon on Elementor when you are adding content. Let me show you. Right here you can see the icon for prompt. The second one takes you to the template section. So this is how the plugin works. It can be used however you like. Content generation is entirely dependent on how well you utilize the plugin. Please feel free to share this video. Alternatively, you can ask in the comments section if you encounter any errors.